All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the Strange Sky Project. Um, I hope you can uh, bear with me and handle all this craziness I have as an introduction. Um, I just thought it was lacking, so I uh, wanted to fill it up, fill up the space. You know, if you can't have fun with it, why even do it? Um, I did a video, I did this video, um, without any audio commentary, just with music. And uh, I think it came out pretty good and conveyed the message, but I wanted to kind of go back over it. With a little audio commentary, um, and uh, yeah, see if I can add to the hopefully awesomeness of the video. What you got right there is a chemtrail. I see a lot of them, tons of them actually. Um, if you've seen the other video, you'll know that I talk about these cloud bands. Like you can see one right here. Um, you actually can see them early in this video too. They're everywhere. I don't know how or why I was picking up so many that day, but if you look closely, you can totally see outlines of circle shapes behind the clouds, um, of just structure, you know, and uh, look right here. It's a perfect example of uh, there's that UFO orb and we get to see shape shift, which I think did a good job of, uh, you know, definitely capturing that. But um, yeah, look at this world behind our world that we are uh, inhabiting. It's all around us, you know? Um, and it's so big, so mind-blowingly big and complex. It's, it's kind of, uh, it's overwhelming. Um, the Bible mentions that uh, when it speaks of angels and demons, mentions that they are legion. Now legion, um, especially during the times, biblical times, is a group of 6,000 men. And uh, what an appropriate way to describe uh, whatever these things, these entities of this other world that's coming into ours is. Because in one, thing or one thing I would want to call an entity. It's amazing how many different faces you can pick out, how quickly it changes. The Bible also mentions that these entities, the fallen ones, are stuck in time until the end times where they will come out and they will get at their brief rule. Seems to me that that's kind of what's happening right now. That as you see these cloud bands they're full of things, structures, something that's there. You know, um, even when I um, do the analysis by going frame by frame, it's so astounding to see something that in one second appears 3D, but you move it and it's gone. You know, um, it breaks all physics, it breaks all science. We're talking about something completely new here. Look at this. I mean, right there, there is so much structure. There's circles, there's straight lines, there's many degree angles. It's something that's going on. It almost looks like a chain link in there. But at the same time, it's like making a chain link. And it's also making 14 different faces. Um, I did something interesting here. I, uh, I actually took that video and turned it upside down. And look what I found upside down. That picture right there. Let's take it from an uh, upside down version. No matter which way you turn it, it's like, there's so much of it. Um, and the only way that I've come to grasp it and kind of uh, understand fully of what that world is, is to look at it like a piece of technology. Um, because that world isn't 3D. It's not coming out in our world. It's almost like a flat surface, like a piece of paper. All these nasty, snarling creatures, for the most part, are on a flat surface. Um, this isn't when they host, uh, when they you know, take over as hosts of people's bodies or animals or whatnot, but like, when you catch them in the clouds or you catch them, um, as stars, it's a 2D surface that 
is constantly changing. It's chaotic, it's a chaotic to these surface. And I, I look at it like a processor um, in a computer, like a bunch of ones and zeros. It doesn't have that third dimension. It's a program, a hive mind program that's connected. Um, and it's creating these images. Um, maybe these images have thought, but it doesn't have the soul. It doesn't have the third dimension yet it's uh but it's there you know it's and it's that's the way at least i be able to grasp it because you can see they got eyes here and what's interesting is like this footage somehow i'm able to, it turns this this flat plank like cloud band it turns there and i'm right here i'm manipulating back and forth with um Wow, maybe turn your head a little bit aside. What a what a snarling face that is. But look inside that face. There's 50 other faces. So that's the best way I can um, kind of explain um, what this world is, the supernatural world that's more and more coming into ours. It's definitely, in my opinion, of late, um, been able to take more of an effect in ours for a long time. I uh, was positive that it couldn't have an effect on us. Like that's what they're, if they if they could hurt us, they would have. But it's changing somehow. Um, they're getting stronger, or the doorways opening more. You know, um, it's more worrisome. Uh, they're definitely playing a part in my life that's not welcomed. Um, look at this stuff. This is uh, incredible. Look how fast it changes. Like that. It, I, you know, I'm I'm manipulating frame by frame at 30 frames a second, and you know, in the span of 10 frames, you know, one third of a second, it's switched up 20 times. Now this is an interesting piece of footage right here. Um, as you see, that's the orb, or the UFO, that's connected to the chemtrail that came out of the chemtrail. I'm not positive it came out of the chemtrail, but it wasn't there a minute ago when I was looking up at the sky. But you know what's so interesting is that, that what that footage just did is it showed that that UFO was connected to that chemtrail. It's almost like it was part of it. Interesting, right? I wonder what that means. We would, you know, use that information with. Look at that! Look at that sharp little thing that just jabs out there. It's crazy. What's like in the mist? It doesn't have an effect on our reality, but yet, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> every time I turn on the camera, I'm able to pick it up. And uh, you know, I'm at the point now where it's like I don't even turn on the camera. You know? I don't, I don't want to see this world. I don't want it to be a factor in my life. But it is. They're, they have a program that they're running. And I don't know if it's directly connected to me, but I see it unfolding around me. And I'm going to do my best to kind of show you guys what that unfolding is, but like, it's complete domination like they're exterminating us so I know that's not the best note to leave on but um now nah, I just uh guess I'm just inventing a little bit trying to you know express all this stuff that I know and like that I hold in and, you know for the most part of everyday pretend it's not there so Bottom line, thank you for watching and listening and check out some of my other videos and, you know, I'm going to try to put up all this other crazy ass shit that I have in the pipeline. Um, much love, you know. Yeah. I hope you guys are well and uh, I wish everybody the best and, you know, let's plug forward together. Humans for life. <laughs> all right, guys.